All right, uh, let's look at the homework two, problem number eight. All right, so we want to uh, sketch the um, uh, slope field using the GeoGebra. All right, so let's do that. All right, so we want, uh, let's see, uh, slope field. So slope field, so I will choose the uh, second one. All right, so the equation was the um, uh, 32 minus uh, 1. 0.6 v so i'm going to use y for v right so uh, then hit enter all right and uh, we can just uh, rescale a little bit so that uh, we can see this guy a little bit better and i'm going to move this over here all right all right something like that maybe stretch it out a bit all right so this is a slow field, all right? The next step would be, uh, let's see, what do we need to do? Uh, let's see, this sketch the appropriate solution curve. So uh, initial condition is uh, zero comma zero. So uh, let's do that. So we want, we type in uh, solve ODE, then uh, choose the second one, all right? So it's the same uh, different equation. So 32 minus 1.6y. And the point would be 0 comma 0. So I'll just put uh, 0 comma 0. Then hit enter. All right? So it draws the uh, solution curve. So that will be uh, part A. All right? So we're done with that. And uh, finding the limiting velocity and uh, how long uh, will it take. So limiting velocity. Uh, we will set the uh, differential equation equal to zero. So you have a dv over dt, which is uh, 32 minus 1.6v. And we want to set that equal to zero. All right? Then I just have to solve. So we're going to, uh, let's see. Uh, subtract 32 from both sides, so it's negative 1.6v is equal to uh, negative 32. Right? Then we divide through by negative 1.6. Then v is going to be uh, negative cancel out, so this is uh, 20. Right? So uh, so we got that, and uh, let's try to see if we can uh, uh, draw this. Uh, let's see, so this is the uh, limiting uh, velocity, and I'm gonna put that in there. Uh, let's see, so GeoGebra, right? So that's gonna be just uh, y equals 20. So you can kinda, so this is the limiting velocity, All right? Then what we want to do is uh, how long will it take to reach 95% of the li uh, limiting velocity, all right? So 95% of the limiting velocity, so I'm just going to uh, multiply. So y equals 90%, uh, so 0 0.9 uh, times uh, 20 was the limiting velocity. So here, this is the 95% of the limiting velocity, all right? Then what we want to do is we want to find the time, so which is right here. So I'm going to just use this. Uh, you, uh, you can actually use the uh, intersect tool if you want. Uh, you can just find the intersection between those two guys and then click enter there. All right. So you can see that uh, here. This it, at this point. Uh, let's see. I want to see a little bit more. So I'm going to go here. Option rounding. Actually, rounding is there already. So it says that uh, this is 1.44, right? So that's how we get the, uh, woo. Oh, actually, sorry. I messed it up. I, I only did 90%. So what did I do? So here. So I have to change that to, right? So this was 95%. So that's why I'm getting a wrong number. All right, so here, ninety-five percent. Right, so you can see that uh, here. Uh, if you look at the uh, x coordinate, it's one point eight seven. So it's really a t coordinate. So it's a one point eight seven seconds later. Uh, this becomes a nineteen. Uh, 
19, which is the 95% of the limiting uh, velocity. All right, uh, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.